Hey everybody out there in the internet world and the comic book community and welcome to another Dark Avengers comic book review. The last video of today's uh, July 4th celebration uh, celebration on uh, my channel. Didn't get as many videos done or shot as I was hoping but then again this was a last minute I had 24 hours to put this together kind of thing so but this is what we were here for. This is the big event. This is the big part of the 4th of July celebration. As you can channel. see from our shirts and stuff. Yep. Well, Joe. No. But he's showing his independence in the comic review. Right. So, uh, news-wise, as you guys saw from the Avengers log, all I've got is Marvel Now. And uh, everybody's got some positive and negative outlooks on this. I mean, me and Mike shot a video last night uh, about five or six hours after the announcement was made and uh, already it's got 76 views with a bunch of people that are liking it, hating it, cursing it out, or excited for it. Well, why would they curse it out if it hasn't Because it has released? the... They shouldn't... See, this is the thing. It just doesn't even feel like it's going to be a reboot. They shouldn't have used the word relaunch. Because if they're just going to the next phase in their universe, they don't need to say relaunch or even bother renumbering their comics. It's a new age. They did the heroic age. They had the dark reign. They had the the after the civil war. They had everything. So you know, just so. Why do they have to call it a relaunch? They're not really relaunching their universe. They should have said renumbered if they're going to renumber their titles. They're relaunching some of their classic books. That was what it, they said. That was the. And that would be good. You know, in my opinion is I think positively from what I've read from what was presented to exactly me, it looks like they're just bringing back a lot of old school elements and yeah. mixing with new exactly. school exactly they didn't and three awesome new titles well, let's they already hope, announced you know they do that we gotta believe yeah. that plus more I surprises so. they didn't yeah I don't think, think they're gonna redo title. Spider Man I don't think they're gonna take his entire past and change it oh I hope so not. I don't think they're gonna do that especially Punisher he's got a new book coming in October you really think they're gonna relaunch the Punisher on the Punisher like War Zone, you, we don't know if it's the real Yeah, but Punisher. do you think they're going to reboot him right after a new series is just about to start? Well, with the woman that's there, Rachel, who knows? Because you pointed I'm out. I'm being that. honest. I'm there's the nothing same. bad in the Marvel U. No. There was nothing bad in the DC Comics universe, and they didn't have to relaunch. Now, Marvel actually is going about this in a way that looks promising. Mm. DC Comics just said we are... Del we are stopping all of our comics and only releasing these brand new 52 comic titles and we are changing the costumes we're changing this that and the other thing marvel said they're changing the costumes they did not say that they were changing the um uh what do you call it the history which dc said they were exactly. doing they did not say they were erasing any type of history which dc comics actually said they were and they're not doing anything like that. They're keeping the history. There's even a Uncanny Avengers bridges before Avengers vs. X-Men to after Avengers vs. X-Men. So obviously there's no like, okay, your past is erased, here's your present, and we'll fix up your past. I really, books. I just really don't think Marvel will pull what DC did. I don't did. think they're going to capitalize on such a big mistake. But I knew they were going to use the word relaunch. You had to know they were going to use the word relaunch if but, DC's thing went good. Yeah, the only thing I'm just saying is the price of $3.99. Well, that's because they're putting AR I, and I digital downloads I know, I understand that. Now. that. That's the only uh, thing about Marvel. But as long as there's good stories and lots of other great stories that are coming out with stuff. Yeah, quantity over quality. quality and exactly what he said. Yeah, at least Marvel's not I mean, just quality. picking 52 books. There's a bunch of books and it doesn't have universe changing. It's just not. That's why, I'll be honest, even if Marvel wasn't doing Marvel now, I just don't even recognize this new DC universe anymore, which is why I'm not, I'm dropping 85 to 90 percent of the comics. Truth be told, I would have dropped them anyway. Because I just, I feel like I'm reading a brand new universe, and why am I giving them special, like, treatment, buying extra books, if mm. I'm... This, it is a brand new it, universe. It, it is. It's too new, for me. It, it, forget it. So I'm going to treat it like I treat my indie books. That's what DC will become, like an indie company. It'll be the last indie company until I get into Marvel. But anyway, as you guys know, Joe and Cindy, my girlfriend, and Mike's here with two books. We are reviewing books that were released on June 27, 2012. Ironically, on the day that this week's comic books are released, July 4, 2012. And if you guys went on MidtownComics.com yesterday, 
you will have noticed that you could have ordered the comic books that are being released next Wednesday, yesterday, so this way there's no um, time gap and the orders will still be go will be shipped out on time without and, and, a delay because of the fourth. Yeah, and no confusion as well. Right. So let's get right into the books. Sorry, babe. First book, we're doing Dark Horse first, we've got two from Dark Horse, is Resident Alien, issue two of three. Finally, the um, everything's starting to come together, you know, the mystery is sort of all making sense now, but I have a feeling there's one more twist by the last issue of this uh, series, or this part of the series. I say this part because at the very end, they actually mention that this is the end to the first epic of this book, meaning I have a feeling there's going to be more to come the first Resident Alien story arc. So I have a feeling that by the time this issue is done, there'll be another Resident Alien with a subtitle. And I, depending on how this story ends, it will determine whether I want to get the next story first arc. First of all, the artwork isn't too, uh, yeah. The artwork's pretty okay. No, like, like, I'm not saying it's bad. I said it's pretty okay, but I'm just saying it's not like my... And it jumps back and really. forth from the past to the present. Uh, the girl in the book is actually starting to question. She's like, I can't see his face. He's all fuzzy. It makes no sense. And her father's a shaman. And he's like, maybe you belong together or you have some purpose with him and whatnot. So next issue is the, is the reveal. We find out who's the person that's going around town killing people. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Um, as promised, I enjoyed it. Will it, um... Will the last issue make me come back for story two? We'll find out. Um, so far, it's enjoyable. Um, we'll see, as I said, how it all ends. Really, to be honest, I'm enjoying it. The selling point to story two will be how they conclude the first story. You gotta be that way when it comes to certain indie books. You gotta see how one story ends before you take another. Another a story. Also, I hate to interrupt you. If you hear noise outside, there's fireworks. Yeah, we got also. fireworks in the background, so apologies. It is still the Fourth of July, so um, yeah, I'm not used to shooting comic reviews this early. But anyway, mm, it's good. Star Wars Blood Ties: Boba Fett is Dead, Issue Three. Oh my God! First of all, I love the artwork in this book. Boba Fett is out to find out who. Um, put out a bounty on his head and why and he finds out a bit in this book and yes Darth Vader does make an appearance in this book for two pages wow that's it <laughs> two pages Darth Vader walks in and out Can't Bubba move. Fett tricks him and goodbye Darth Vader the end uh, we also find out in this book that the uh, bounty hunter that is protecting the guy that Bubba Fett is protecting and who looks like Bubba Fett uh, actually is the mother of his child. Now that is good all. That's a huge spoiler right wow. there, but I'm sorry, that's just the way mm -hmm. it is. Very mm -hmm. And we also find out that the character that uh, he's protecting, Bubba Fett's father, Django Fett, killed his father, and Bubba Fett actually saved him. So it's, he, he's, it's, a, it's a really twisted tale, but it's really good. It's really enjoyable. And I love it. I can't wait for the uh, next part. There's two more parts to go. I'm trying to find some good artwork to show you guys, but it's just really awesome. I love it. The artwork is just amazing. And like Joe said, realistic. Too. Very realistic. Yeah, it's paint artwork in this book, and it's really, really good. Um, I hope that in another Star Wars book at some point they actually use this artwork again because it's really good. And they really should do more Boba Fett books, to be honest with you. I mean, I know Boba Fett died in the actual Star Wars, but um, I don't know. This book is really um, good. I'm really loving it. it. If you're a Star Wars fan, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you're a Star Wars fan, I would highly recommend you check this out. Next up, not the cover I would have picked, but once again, Midtown Comics is doing the picking for me. Lord of the Jungle, issue 5. All of a sudden, towards the middle of this book, Tarzan learns how to speak French. Uh -huh. He can speak French, he could read English only, and Jane left to go back to America, and now Tarzan, along with the guy he saved, are on the hunt. Um, not on the hunt, they're leaving... The um, they're leaving Africa and they're going to find Jane and also he figured out that Tarzan is the next Lord of Greystoke. Can I just ask a question? Why is he talking a different language that is French? Let me put it this way. 
this is the end of the book and the last lines that Tarzan says and I'm telling you this is so un-Tarzan I dare say our money problems are over I dare oh, say wow. our money problems are over wow when 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 did when Tarzan did ever use the word I dare say what is this the I middle I dare ages? say madam I think our money problems are over well that is a French way of saying I dare say or I must well, say um, wow. <laughs> very interesting. Well, after reading the annual, we do know that, uh, we do find out that Tarzan does learn how to speak English at some <laughs> point. But, uh, French? This is new. This is very new. No explanation. Uh, no. no. Well, yeah, he, the, the guy teaches him how to speak oh, French. Okay. I, yeah, uh, we'll figure out what happens in the next issue, I guess. And maybe he'll speak a different language, or maybe he'll just stay. Maybe English. he'll speak a different language. Who maybe, knows? Maybe next he'll speak Hindu. Who knows? The way things are going here, I'm I, I doubt some it. Good artwork. Let's see. That's good. Is some good artwork. But that's just shocking. Like, yes. and I don't thinking? even know who this man is. <laughs> uh, oh, I got this weird guy on my cover. <laughs> who wants to get a cover that looks like that over your? Like, let's say you're sleeping, and then you wake up, and then th that cover's looking right at oh, you. Oh, God. That's one way to wake somebody up in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I enjoyed this issue. Um, it was definitely something new. Looking forward to the next issue. I'm going all the way through the first story arc before I decide whether I'm going to keep this or not. Voltron, however, I've reached my last straw with. Voltron issue 6. Now we're getting the origin of how... Um, Zarkon became Zarkon, how they tortured him in the past, and it turns out Sven is still alive. Big spoiler there. And Zarkon believes that the Voltron Force, not the Voltron Force, that Voltron is evil and whatnot. And there's some sketch there's art. There's a sketch art in the back for the next issue. Um, I'll be honest, I'll probably try out issue 7 to see if they're still attaching, they're still doing an origin story. I mean, we're already a half a year in, and all I'm getting is how this became that and how that became there the There needs thing. to be action. Yeah, there needs to be, no, present story. Or probably. present story. I mean, yeah. no offense, we have Voltron year 1 for the past stuff. We don't need Voltron also delving into everybody's past and origin. So, uh, I hope this is the last issue where it's going to involve jumping back and forth from the past, 2024, to the present, and um, we can just get on with the actual story. Because right now, I'm being honest, this book just feels like it's a past book, it's setting up for another book, and it's like, it's not. This is the actual book. Um, oh, the artwork. The artwork, however, is very good. I I mean I love the artwork in in some cases in other cases not, but uh, I'll show the Voltron that was from a different world. That's yeah, that's good. So I don't know. I mean I guess I'll. It's a three ninety nine book, and I and I I feel like half the time that all I'm paying three ninety nine for is more along the lines of a backup, like a uh, an origin story. Now I understand you have to tell the origin before you actually get into the story, but anybody who's actually reading this already knows about Voltron. That's why I bought it. I, I already know about Voltron. I understand you're redoing some of the past. Understandable, fine, tell an origin story, but you know, I thought it was over in the last issue, and lo and behold, here's Zarkon, Zarkon how he became the way he is, his story. I mean, Maybe they should have done a story and then done this. At least give us something in the present. To or do. could build up the character as the issue gets to the real deal. Yeah. Could, it could be that. So, we'll see how the next issue pans out. If I just keep feeling like I'm going back and forth through time and mostly in the back instead of the present, then I'm just going to... It keeps repeating that. itself. Yeah. That too. It's the same crap. Here's the present day. Now here's the past. Mm. Here's the present day. Now here's the past. It's like going back it's and forth in time. Now here's the present day, and we're <laughs> going to stay here for three pages and to be continued. That's, uh, wow. A book that I'm really loving, Manhattan Project Issue 4, explains a lot about Albert Einstein. I was looking forward to this book, and all I'm going to say is Parallel Universe Albert Einstein is in this. It's Ooh. really awesome. In the past, Albert Einstein builds this doorway in the past. 
and uh, it turns out he figures out how to open it, but the one, the Albert Einstein that comes through from the other universe has no idea how he did that. And he traps our universe's Albert Einstein in his universe, and he stays in our universe, and throughout the whole beginning of the book, he's trying to get Richard to figure out how to open the, um, the doorway uh, so that he can do what the other Albert Einstein did, etc. We also have a piece of Roswell, New Mexico where the aliens came. This is all uh, set up for Area 51 at some point, so I, I, I kind of find that side, interesting. Yeah. And of course, in the end, huge spoiler here, Richard opens the door and uh, Albert Einstein is the menacing look of the the dark look on his yeah. face in this part was, I don't want to spoil the ending I can't do that I'll show Albert Einstein versus Albert Einstein there you go <laughs> red versus blue I like the coloring in this book I really do I feel bad because the blue Albert Einstein was cooler than the red old Albert Einstein but anyway it was a really good book I'm loving it I'm sorry this is definitely a book that I'm holding on to from Image for a very long time I love it I, I seriously I can't wait for the next issue already each book has something new and enjoyable for me to read. And I love Albert Einstein, so the fact that he's he was literally spotlight of this whole issue was really great. Does he say in one part E equals MC square? Does no, he but he does speak the way he, um, not the way of, oh god. He actually says it in, in I mean, words. E equals MC square is the... He doesn't say E equals MC square. He didn't even know much algebra, just be basic smart. Um, the same truth. I don't know. I'm he trying to find that, some mind. of his. Yeah. Oh, here. The cruel god of memory snatching it from your fingers like salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And I need you to help me find the key. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm sorry. I love Albert Einstein. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an Albert Einstein fan. He's interesting. Fan. Yes. Mm -hmm. So to have him in this Very book is really awesome. So I would absolutely say check this out. If you haven't yet, it's four books in. There's like four reprintings of issue one. You can't miss it. It's really, really awesome. Next up with a promotional card, I'm very, a, a little annoyed. I'm not going to say very, I'm a little annoyed. Uh, the last magic, well, first of all, it's Magic the Gathering, the Spell Thief. I'm a little annoyed at the fact that I understand there's a couple more pages, very little if any, but uh, the price for the original series, the first three or four parts, was $3.99. Standard comic price. Fine. Great. $4.99. Huh? It is now a $5 no, book. Say, what? No, it has nothing to do with it. It comes with a free card. Uh, it is a uh, white magic card. It is legal to use in your magic deck if you so choose to. That's why there is a person. They raised the price. I have no idea. Wait, I gotta see this. Artwork is the same. Yeah. Artwork is the exact same as in the previous story arc. I don't know why they raised the price. Maybe there are more pages. It Maybe just it's a rare feel card. Like it. Wait, is it a rare card? Before you say, I don't it's, know, a card. Card. it's a card made for this book specifically. Then I have no clue. Maybe that's why. Exactly. Maybe they're not selling as much. That could be a true. Or well, it could be the somewhere. economy too, who knows. So it left off with the main character chasing after Sifta. She doesn't show up in this entire book. Doesn't show up at all in this entire book. It turns out he gets into the castle finally, and this castle's filled with um, people and beings from all around um, the magic universe, and it's this guy who collects them all. And he actually collects the car uh, the main character whose name completely um, skips my mind at the moment. Uh, he's talking about I came here. I'm just passing through to um, find um, I forgot her name. Sifa. How do you pronounce her name? It was on the first page actually. Sifa. Yeah, Sifa. And uh, he's like, yeah, she passes through here from time to time, and she said you might come after her. Um, and he, she never stays long. And then he's like, you're a planeswalker. Teach me how to planeswalk and I'll set you free. He's like, I can't teach it. It's kind of a, how you're born with it. And it explains, uh, also in this book, explains about his arm, why it's all blue. I'm not going to say why. You're going to have to read the book, even though it's $5. Um, 
long story short, he does escape and he ends up teleporting back to Drake's town, which is his home. And things don't look too nice there. Oh, I so I, I don't know guys I leave it up to you it's a four ninety nine book and to be honest it's only really for you guys that like magic cards because it really it has a lot of references to magic the gathering kind of um, decks and characters and stuff like that if you don't know magic I cannot give you a recommendation to getting this mm -hmm. book and to be honest with you guys um I like the story. I want to continue it, but for five dollars, I'm wow. really going to have to consider getting the next book. Mm. Uh, it's just not saying I won't. Not saying I won't. But if it's a huge comic week and you know money gets too much, I might postpone it to the following week because this is. I don't understand why. I should give an explanation. I mean, there were no extra stories added yeah. to this or sketches. It's and just it's a, like a regular story. And it's, exactly, and it's a, it's approximately the exact same amount of pages as the last book. That's why I mentioned the cards. So Maybe it's a printer. Book. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll if never they know, know they could comment much. below. Yeah. Why? Maybe. Nobody knows, because I, I think I'm the only one that's actually reading Magic the Gathering. If you are reading Magic for some apparent reason, and you, got, and you know why they upped the price by a dollar, please feel free to comment below and let me know why. And if it's just because of extra pages, to be honest with you, I didn't really feel like I was reading extra pages. Transformers More Than Meets the Eye, issue 6. Fortress Maximus is the main target, the main uh, spotlight in this um, book. He is really screwed up in the head because of what happened years ago when a Decepticon, I forget his name, uh, but I know what page he mentions it, um... Lots of words to find a name. I know. Oh, is this him? No. no. Uh, eventually I'll find out. The all work is good. Overlord. Yeah, Overlord. And how he tortured him and killed a bunch of Autobots. Uh, Fortress Maximus gets... There is a death of a Autobot in here, and I'm kind of sad. There was um, also Fort... I don't know if Fort Maximus also was... I don't know if he was killed or if he was wounded. That's where you're kind of left in the dark, but I feel bad for the Autobot that I know died. It's kind of... Uh, eh. It's, uh, I, I didn't expect it. When I actually read that part and you see the explosion mm -hmm. and the head, bye-bye, it's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. That's that's something new. And then at the end of the book, it sets up for the next story, I guess, where it's about um, Red Alert, how he's very, he's acting very odd. He's like going around places and, it, and um, the way he's doing things, he'll be the death of us all if we don't watch out for him. And then it shows a huge spoiler. Um, towards the, at the, in the last page, so I don't want to give you a, the spoiler away, but uh, I want to find some good artwork to show you guys. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, but I want to see if there's anything. And you get a little bit more of a bio or a look into the past of World. So I don't know. We'll see what happens next. But it looks like they've got a nut on the uh, go on uh, going through the uh, crew looking for the Knights of Old Cybertron. I'm enjoying Transformers next week. No, no, not next week. The week after next week, there is a return of an old Transformer series that ended. I don't know if it was back in the early nine, the late nineties or the early two thousands, but regardless, wasn't it the early two thousands? It I might think, be the early two thousands. I, I remember that. And it's issue eighty one. I forgot re something for the Transformers. I got the issue. Um, there was also there's also a special which I didn't get because it was like ten dollars uh, of issue seventy six through eighty, uh, which then leads into the new story, which is issue eighty one. And uh, right. I, I didn't get the special. I just got the actual issue. It's just reprints of the original comics, and I could probably pay a lot less to get the original books. But anyway, uh, getting back to this, uh, more than meets the eye is really awesome. 
I'm enjoying it. I actually missed an issue of Robots in Disguise, the issue before the Optimus Prime story started. Uh, that's coming in next week's pile, so I'll be reviewing that book, and I believe the next part of Robots in Disguise comes mm -hmm. out next week. I'm not sure. I don't think so, actually. I'm not sure, but I know that I will have Robots in Disguise, a book that came out two months ago, uh, in next week's review, because I apparently skipped over it, didn't even notice it until I was putting my comics in there. Uh, spots that there was a skip and I missed obviously missed the comic so I'll be getting it and reviewing it as soon as I get it so but back to this I would say check it out if you're a Transformers fan okay. let's see what's coming up next my uh -huh. favorite childhood uh, everybody's my favorite, favorite right? mm, yeah. book of the month you know as it, it continues you know it is. as it continues yeah. almost Great. a year later Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is book of the month again I'm sorry I'm, I'm, it was awesome. I got to love Ninja Turtles. I loved it. Yeah. I'm very cautious, though, uh, towards issue 13 when the artwork is going to change. That's a mm. bummer. But the Turtles are still looking for Splinter. Splinter wants to take out Shredder. He goes through the entire Foot Army. Goes through uh, Alloplex. And if you don't remember Alloplex, she's the mutant that was in the Raphael one-shot, which was the first one part to the micro-series. Turtles versus dragons, or the purple dragons. It turns out that Casey is friends with the purple dragons, and they know where the Foot uh, Clan is. And they help the turtles out after a long something. Love this page with Casey Jones in the mask. Casey Jones is awesome. He's in the, he's the next part of the one-shot. And the book ends epically. The last wow. part, the last part to the first mm -hmm. uh, first story arc, the first entire wow. chapter to this new TMNT is next month. And next issue, Shredder versus Splinter. And cool. there's so Let's much see. more that happens in this book. I'm sorry, guys. This book has not disappointed me in 11 issues now. No series has ever done that. This is the first. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to continue to... To please me. For well, many, hopefully many, many, many. in issue 13 as well. Absolutely. That you got. Uh, I'm cautious of the new artwork, but I, I believe the writing is going in the same direction. My God, guys, you, you got to be reading this by now. If you're not reading this by now, you, wow. There's two graphic novels out that collect the first 10 issues, and you really need to be picking this up. You can go behind the camera because we're almost done. Uh, you need to be picking this up. It's really good. If you need any, if out of any of the comics I review here, this is the one I most highly recommend to anyone who watches any of my comic reviews. When people come to me and say, "What books will you oh, do you recommend for me to start off on?" Uh, this is the first book I always mention. Or not, first book. Okay, we're done with the first part. We're done with all the indies. Come back for the next part where we'll do DC, Marvel, and that'll be it because we are basically halfway through. See you guys in the next part.